morning, Tri-City. I'm Noah. And I'm Josh. And this is TCNN. TNN. Last week was homecoming week. Students got involved by dressing up each day to show their Tri-City spirit. They also attended our pep rally on our homecoming game. Here's Jacob with that story. What's up guys? Last week was very exciting with our homecoming game and pep rally. Let's see what our students have to think about it. It was still pretty sick seeing the kings and queens come out during halftime. So in terms of the actual game, it was pretty good. We took the dub like, kind of a lot, but um, you kind of get a little sentimental when you kind of look to the stands and realize uh, you won't be there like really ever again. And um, everybody that's there is kind of like, uh, it's different people from when you started. That's all we have for this week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jacob, and congratulations to our football team for the great win. There are many other things going on at Tri-City. Here's Kate some announcements for this week. Good morning, Eagles. Here are your announcements for this week. There's a Bouldering Club interest meeting on Monday at lunch in Mr. Pichette's room. See Justin Moran for more information. Isaac Fretwell is starting a Bible study on Mondays in the PAR. See him for more information. Seniors, your Bible verses and sayings are due, so please check your TCCS emails for the link. Tonight, there is a football game against Classical Academy at Del Norte High School. Come out and support your boys. That's all for this week. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Katie. The week ended with the homecoming banquet, which was moved to the school gym to, due to the threat of rain. Let's go to Carlos to see what students had to say about the homecoming banquet. Another year of homecoming has passed, and as always, everyone has an opinion on just how it went. My overall experience was pretty good. I loved um, getting to hang out with all my friends and just like everybody being there for the last homecoming. I've gone to homecoming all four years, and it was just like so sad to like see it be the last one, but like also exciting for like new experiences in the future. My favorite part was definitely uh, the comedy like the comedy um, routine. It was, I just thought it was really funny seeing Cole Forkham up there just talking about brownies. I think that what can be improved was not the, com I don't like the comedy skate. I didn't hear a word that was going on. And what I liked about it was that we got to dance to some secular music. <laughs> And it was overall just a great experience where we got to all sit at this nice long table and we got to see everyone that was there and actually interact with our friends. Thanks again to ASB for putting so much work into another year of homecoming. No matter the reviews, it will for sure be memorable. Back to you guys. Thanks, Carlos. Homecoming was incredible this year, and I can't wait to see what ASB comes up with next year. Now Jake has Sabella in the studio for a live interview about homecoming. Thanks, Noah. Today in the studio, we have our ASB president, Sabella. Sabella, can you tell me about the process of homecoming? Yeah, um, it was really difficult in the beginning. Um, all of ASB came to Tri-City in the morning at 8 o'clock, and we set everything up outside, which it was originally supposed to be. Um, we had the tables, the chairs, lights, the tent, music, everything set up outside. Um, and then around like 12.30, 1 o'clock, it just started raining everywhere. So we had to have all hands on deck, bringing in the tables and the chairs and everything into the gym. And then we didn't finish setting up the gym till like 4. And even Mr. Pirelli, he was a big help. He um, didn't even finish till like 30 minutes before the dance. So, yeah, it was kind of stressful, but it all ended up good. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. Um, can you, ooh, um... Thanks, guys. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Jake. That's all we have for you guys this week, and we'll see you next time on, on TCNN. TCNN.